For just the fourth time since 1998, the Wisconsin Badgers are a double-digit home underdog this coming Saturday in their, in their matchup against Alabama. Uh, right now, as we speak, the Alabama Crimson Tide is a 15-and-a-half-point road favorite in this contest. Before I get to my analysis and free pick on that game, just a couple friendly reminders, folks. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. It costs you absolutely nothing, and you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here on Wager Talk TV. And while you're at it, go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV. You'll be notified immediately upon any of our uh, great material on our great channel being published. Also, if you uh, can kindly give me a like on this video, it would go a long way and showing your token of appreciation for the work, time, and effort I put in to bringing you a quality free pick video each and every day. And again, folks, it's not always, I, I win more than I lose. There's no two ways about it on these free pick videos. But at the end of the day, I want to make you a smarter sports better today than you were yesterday. So give me a like. It would go a long way in making me happy. And I'm sure. Uh, making me happy uh, isn't a difficult thing for you guys to do simply by hitting that like button. Okay, Alabama and Wisconsin, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern time kickoff. Uh, Wisconsin, uninspiring in their 2-0 start. Both games took place at home, but they struggled in a 28-14 home win in a season opener versus Western Michigan, failing to cover as a 20-point favorite. And then last week, uh, 27 to 13 versus South Dakota uh, in a game they closed as a 17 and a half point favorite in South Dakota. By the way, they play at the FCS level. So uh, again, Wisconsin not as dominant recently at home as they've been in prior years. Uh, and I, I guess two and all this year. Uh, again, they're, they weren't dominant as double digit favorite. They failed to cover on both of these occasions, and they lost. Three games straight up at home last season. Uh, this is a Wisconsin team that was run heavy in the first two games. That's nothing new. Uh, it fits the Wisconsin DNA. Uh, but they ran the ball 87 times and threw only 38 passes. So 69.6% of their offensive plays were on the ground. And it's very difficult to uh, beat an Alabama team, an Alabama defense specifically, if you're that run heavy and one dimensional and that goes, if you're pass happy too, because uh, this is a very talented Alabama secondary and a very talented Alabama defense as a whole the, the Alabama Crimson Tide 42, 16 win versus South Florida last week. They crushed Western Kentucky in their season opener. Uh, here's the thing about that win last week, 42 to 16, uh, it looks like a blowout, but it, that game was a one-score game in the fourth quarter, and then Alabama just pulled away. And what was uh, what strikes me the most is the Alabama Crimson Tide were at a minus-three turnover differential in that game and allowed over 206 yards rushing. Um, and they still managed to win the game by almost four touchdowns. So that shows you how good this Alabama team is. Now, South Florida – did run for 206 yards in that game, folks. But keep in mind, their quarterback was is a very mobile quarterback, and he presents a lot of problems uh, in terms of even when he went back to pass, scrambling to get yards off uh, a broken play. So uh, they're not going to face that type of quarterback this week in Tyler Van Dyke. He's more of a drop-back passer and uh, is doesn't have the ability to beat the Crimson Tide with his legs at the rate that the South Florida quarterback did a week ago. Also, keep in mind, the Alabama Crimson Tide, 47-7 and in their last 54 away games, and that includes 6-0 and straight up in ATS if they're a road favorite of minus 14.5 to 17.5, winning by 23 points per game on average. 29 of those 47 road wins that I just alluded to came by 16 points or more, so over... Uh, close to 62% of the time when they went on the road, uh, they went by a margin of 16 or more. And again, I mentioned that because the current line is uh, 15 and a half. Now, I got a college football betting angle on this game. I mentioned 
that uh, Alabama uh, was minus three in the turnover department. And since 1992, any college football road favorite of 14 and a half or greater that in their previous game, their turnover differential was minus three or worse. Alabama was minus three. Those road favorites of 14 and a half or more coming off a mistake prone game like they did in the previous game uh, went 54 and 22 against the spread. That's 71%. I am going to go with the Alabama Crimson Tide here, minus 15 and a half uh, versus Wisconsin. Uh, that's my free pick for Saturday, uh, September the 14th. All right, some, some specials we got going on right now. If you could just be nice and stay tuned for just another minute, folks. Uh, might be to your liking uh, what, what I run by you here. 50% off any 30-day package for any handicapper right now over at Wager Talk, including myself. You just need to use the promo code at checkout of OFF33. That's O-F-F-50. Excuse me, OFF50. OFF50. And you'll get 50% off any 30-day all-access pass from any of the handicappers over at Wager Talk. Also, a 30-day, no promo code is going to be needed for this, but 30 days college football, NFL combined all access, and that's just $199 right now, which is $50 off the normal pricing. So you want to take advantage of that. Why should you be interested in purchasing that from me? Well, folks, um, last year I finished number two overall and money earned college football NFL combined. Again, 199, 30 days of college football and the NFL. Everything that we put out in college football and the NFL is yours for just $199. And one last thing, uh, special right now, uh, my cohort uh, and fellow wager talk handicapper, Jesse Shul. Myself and Jesse has shuled up to say, or shuled up, <laughs> is teamed up to uh, give you a special on a seven-day pass. You can get all of my picks and Jesse's picks, Major League Baseball, college football, the NFL. Jesse does a little soccer uh, as well. And uh, that seven-day pass, just $99 for all of our selections. That's Ross and Jesse selections for seven days. It's a two-for-one special, okay, because normally it's uh, 198 it would have been $198. Now it's $99. So Ross and Jesse, seven-day pass. You can go to our uh, personal link over at uh, Wager Talk, and that's wt.buzz slash rb is mine, wt slash buzz uh, dot buzz slash js for Jesse. Uh, until the next time, which will be later today, I'll be giving you a plethora here of NFL free pick videos, so stay tuned for those. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and take advantage of those special offers we got right now at Wager Talk. Take care and God bless, folks.